standing with my painting in the dragon's mouth. And it's a story that began with the questions of how do we ask questions about the multidimensional nature of consciousness? How do we explore what the physicists are exploring with math? How do we explore the nature of consciousness with a brush and a pen? How do we dive in? And that's why In the Dragon's Mouth really started to take me over the years of working on it into a deeper and deeper adventure in terms of the spinal column of time and creation, the unique portals into other worlds. But if we notice, it is all happening at once. This is very important because it allows us to realize, although we can look at separate elements which tell us part of a greater story, that it's actually acting as a unity which helps us understand multidimensionality, that it is not going to another dimension because we are composed of this dimension, but using the imaginative vehicle that allows the mind to travel into these other worlds as a way of seeing with a brush, meaning I'm not illustrating something. My process is never optical. It's evocative, meaning it's literally drawing forth the questions. And that's why in the, we see with the, the pyramid and the, the, the quality of the inner landscape, let's say this is the island of the imagination, the place where we find ourselves. And in this place, we are able to see the implications of the greater story of why this is called in the dragon's mouth. Look at the energy, the worlds that are emerging, that are exploding because the energy within is erupting without. Now think of this inside of the human body. This is what's going on inside of us constantly, but we can't see it. So how do we ask these questions in terms of the relevance? Well, we do it with art, because art doesn't explain, it invites. It doesn't say this is true or false. It says imagine. Think of the possibility that with the spine of time and the galleries of eternity, we always find a centering place of coherence that allows the vast universe, like it does for us when we go out at night, aside at night, it's all there. We're part of it. But we think we just exist in one small part. Well, we do, but we also exist in a greater whole. So in the dragon's mouth reminds us, we are multidimensional beings that have found a way to stabilize the imagination so as not to be ripped into these other worlds, but to draw them forth to allow our imagination to actually be inspired by them. So I hope this inspired you as it inspired me. Thank you, it's in the dragon's mouth.